Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is cash stuffing our last paycheck for October. So we have a total amount of 44,350. Let's do a head count just to make sure our cash is correct. So for 1,000, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Let's pull out my calculator here. 31,000. For 500s, we have 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9,000. So we now have 40,000. Now for the hundreds, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 3,000. So we now have 43,000. For the 50s, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 550. Oh, so we have 44,550 for our total amount. Uh, so that's 1,550. So, yep, we have 44,550 for our total cash. Now, let's start with our bills expenses binder. For our water bill, we will add 100. So, our cash is now um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600. Although the 200 was the extra fund that we have for last, not for last month, but for this current month, current month, October, since we're one, one month ahead. So everything that we're cash stuffing, guys, is for the month of November, all the bills expenses. And since uh, I paid my water bill every first of every month, so the last payment or bill for the water was October 1st. I paid 274, so there's an extra of 200 plus. And that's why it's here. That's a 200 extra. And for the budget for the entire month of November should be 500. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 400 only because the 100 pesos is in fact here for our internet bill. So just for you guys not to get confused, the 25 pesos supposed to be every week since I'm, pay I'm paid weekly. It should be 125 per week. But the 25 pesos is not suitable for the, this kind of envelope. So I combined the 25 pesos on the internet bill. And that's why I said it should be 500. But then we only have 400 here because the 100 is in here. So let's just do the internet bill. It should be 2,500. And this is fixed. While water bill is, you know, um, variable. It can change every single month. So internet bill, we have 1,500 600, 700, 800, 950. So we're going to add 650 instead of, instead of 625 per week to make it 2,500 a month. So we'll make it 650 because of the 25 pesos that is coming from the water bill. So let me just combine them all together. And let's just count again. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500. So it should be 2,500. I am just going to like, I think this is for the water. Yeah. I'm just going to put this back because this is already in full. And like I said, this is for the month of November bill for our internet bill. And going back to water. So let's go ahead and count again. We have 1, 2, 
300, 400, and 500, which is our budget for every week, every month, I mean, not week. And we have extra for the October bills, so we're just going to add them up here. And that means to say our water bill budget is at 700 now. So, move along to our rent. Rent is 8000 a month, so since we are down to our last month of October, sorry, last week of October, um, we're just going to add 2000 and this should be 8000 now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's good. Now this is going to be paid November 15 in cash and internet oh sorry electric bill i mean this is our electric bill it stands for visayan electric company that's what veco means my budget every month is eleven thousand four eighty. so i'm going to add two thousand is it two thousand let me see no it's going to be one thousand three hundred and fifty instead of two thousand eight hundred seventy because guys, if you divide 11,480 divided by 4 for 4 weeks, it will be 2,870. But it, we already have a lot of money in here. So that's why I've decided to just make it 1,350 for this last week. 350. So 1,350 and let's just combine. For sure, it's almost like more than 11,480 because... Um, October's electric bill that was 23rd of October I only paid 7,311 so 11,480 budget 11,480 was my budget and I only paid 7,311 so there's an extra of 4,150 as it says here on the budget tracker so now we should have um, 12,760 plus 12760 plus 1350 for the last week. So we should have 14,110. Uh, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, and then 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 14. And then we have 50, 70, 90, 110. So we have the right amount. Oh, that, that's not for the Veco. So we have the right amount. And this should be all good. Hope, hopefully our electric bill doesn't does not exceed exceed um, 14,000. So for our BPI credit card, and whenever I do unstuffing for my videos, all the money goes here. So I do have an over budget for the previous week because there were... Um, power outage we had to check ourselves into a nice hotel in the beach and i spent uh, i spent humongous money on that so i have to pay it off um, because i use my credit card for it <laughs> so this credit card payment is due on november of 25th probably last week of november so i still have like this month october to go and the month of November to go to save it up to pay this on the last week of November. Of, of, of November. But anyway, um, I'll be adding 8,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8,000 and 700 to pay that over budget thing for last week. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 500, 700. And we're just going to combine. Oh my gosh, this binder is going to collapse because it's there's a lot of money in here. Uh, let's just combine the hundreds and the five hundreds. So now we have 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. We have 500 at the bank. So 42, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. So 42,900, guys. 
is our total amount for the credit card. I'm not so sure how much my total amount is right now, but I'm guessing it'll be like around that price because whenever we do groceries or order like food and grab food or food panda, I use my credit card for those. Like my subscriptions, I always use my credit card. Um, but yeah, I pay them off one time uh, for all of that. So going to Indai, which is my daughter, who is a four-year-old. Now, I'm the one uh, financing my daughter. I haven't received any financial support from the father because I'm a single mom. All right, let's just not dwell about that. So we'll just add 2,500, no, 750. Because, you know, that's a different story. It's a long story. So 2,750. Okay, so let's just count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 950. So we have um, 10,950, but I'm just separating 2,800 and then 700 and the reason being it's you know this um envelope has three um parts so the front would be for the milk the back would be for her wipes creams and vitamins and the back part would be for her diapers and stuff although she's four i think we're potty we're going to start potty um training her but, you know, just to be safe, I need to have extra funds in case. So school supplies will only be funded once she um, is at school. But currently, I'm homeschooling her, so this is not going to be useful for now. 2500 is the last amount I will stuff for my mom's personal expenses. Since she's helping me out, taking care of my da daughter, while, uh, daughter while at work. So... Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000. Last month, I gave her 20,000 because my income was like 230,000 a month. But now it decreased, so I lost a client. And that's why we're going back to 10,000. To 10, Tutor is for my daughter's, um, you know, tuition fee for her homeschooling and... I pay 5,800 a month, which I paid last week. So this is, so she's good with October last week up until last week of November. Um, so the next bill would be last week of November up until December and stuff like that. So I'm stuffing for um, November last week or probably December, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to add 1,400 and 50. So let's just add together. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. So 3,900 for the tutor. And I will start stuffing for um, my tutor's um, Christmas gift like her 13-month 13, 13 pay. Probably I'll use this fund because I'm not planning to get a caregiver for now. House helper, yeah, probably we'll get a house helper. So I already have stuff money in there. So going to insurance, I will add 2,500. So I paid this on November 1st and it is uh, 10,000 a month because it includes investment. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000. So it's already at full. I will do cash condensing and unstuffing after this video because I will deposit all of the money before November comes. So medical insurance will add uh, 2,000 to make it 8,000 for this um, November month, you know, due date. Um, this is going to be due on because I paid September, October, November, December. So it will be due December because I, I pay this quarterly. That's 24065 
but then if you divide it by three that's eight thousand a month so one two three four five six seven eight which is good i will deposit this after cash condensing and stuff so i think we will add buffer to this um, envelope in case i go over budget again hopefully not because i'm trying my best not to go over budget guys this one this cash envelope is new and i'm having a hard time opening it honestly because you know the ends of it it goes it curls up like that so it i can't seem to open it like oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh what is going on with this yeah it's so crazy like the front part it is too tall compared to the back that you can't easily open it not unless if you do like that which is i know it's confusing but anyway i was able to open it and i just need to like you know do that just so it won't curve but anyway it is how it is and we're done with this uh bills expenses binder all right so next is our household binder now first part is hygiene this is for shampoo i don't know conditioner anything related to hygiene we'll be adding 500 and this is again for november's expenses so now we have let's just count 500, 600, 700, 800 now. And then next, do we have laundry? Yeah, we do. We'll be adding 500 because laundry is so expensive, guys. I just need to make sure. Yeah, we do have 1,000 in there. I think this is enough for the month of November. Um, November's laundry. And we'll go to waste, like trash cans and everything. We'll be adding 200. You know, it's not that expensive. So, um, what else? Let's see how much do we have. We now have 350, guys. Next, I think we're done with this binder. But let me just check. Uh, yeah, we're done with this. Beauty, clothes. Oh, you know what? Clothes will add 1000 because I'm planning to buy my daughter a um, new set of clothes. I know I bought um, her set of uh, clothes probably that was two months ago when my sister's family was here. I spent 5000 on it, but I wanted to buy her like shoes and stuff. So clothes and shoes, that's 1500 and that's good to go. I'm not saying I'm going to buy or spend this by November, but... I'm starting to like build it up to, to when I'm going to be available and then I will definitely shop. Now, eat out, if we'll just keep it at 1,000 because we don't usually go out. But for groceries, we'll be adding 3,000 in here. So I always keep it at a maximum of like 10,000 or even 8,000, but we always go out and above 8,000 or 10,000 because we always rely on food deliveries and that's how expensive it's going to be. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven thousand one hundred. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. If not, I do have a one week ahead binder that I can use. I do have a buffer as well. Oh, speaking of giveaways, I will be sending your binders this week and congrats to all of our four winners i will do another one he's able to hit 300 subscribers that's a really good job and i'm going to announce about the next steps on how to win the third giveaway so stay tuned okay so next is the one week ahead two months ahead binder now the two months ahead i am planning to just add 500 each except the miscellaneous um, miscellaneous tab. So for the bills, um, we will add 500. And now it has 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 100, 240, which is really good. My goal for my two months ahead binder for bills alone is at 22,480. So for expenses, we will add also same 500. 
And let's just do a count to see how much do we have in total. Oops, it slides. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 500, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So we got 3,000 in total. That's really great. My expenses goal for this second month ahead, that's um, 40,000. I know it's really huge, but then again, I always go for the maximum, maximum budget just to be safe, just so I won't do, we'll, I won't go over budget. But then again, I always go over budget. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, insurance will be adding 500 as well. Just leave it be because I know it's, yeah, sometimes I'd say, oh, it doesn't make sense, friends. But anyway, let's just, <laughs> let's just see how it goes. Hopefully I can discipline myself. You know what I mean? So we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 500. So that's just really good for insurance. My goal for the second month ahead is 8,020 for the insurance. Miscellaneous, we only have 500 in there. Now one week ahead for bills. This is good for the one week ahead um, binders or envelopes. This is good if there's five weeks on a certain month because it's really hard to budget um, knowing that I'm paid weekly. So for a certain month, there are only four weeks, right? And if you get paid four times on a, on a month and then you're budgeting it for next month because I'm one month ahead. So you're budgeting, budgeting it to the next month that has five weeks. So it is really going to be hard. That's why I opted to have a one week ahead binder and I will use this on the fifth week in case there's a month that has five weeks. So bills, um, I just don't have, oh, yeah, I do. I do have a weekly goal for this, um, 10,500. So we'll start off with 1,000 because it doesn't have any money for now. We need to catch up because others has money and this one doesn't. So like I said, the new cash envelopes doesn't open and it curls um, inwards. Like it's so crazy. It curls inwards, like going there and this one going there as well. So yeah, anyway, it stresses me out, guys. <laughs> okay, so insurance is um no expenses is already good. We're almost done with our our um one week ahead expenses. So my goal for this is at ten thousand and I saved up uh seven thousand for one week ahead expenses. So we're going to skip this. And insurances will be adding 500. So now we have, let's count, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. So our insurance weekly goal is 2,500. So we now have 1,000 in there, which is good. Now next is our Moterm binder that is really bulky and I plan to change this because it's so bulky that I feel sorry for the Moterm binder. <laughs> okay, so transpo, I used this up when I withdrew money so I'll be stuffing 500 because it's the only um, cash envelope that I used up. The rest is still like intact, like it still has money, receipts, yeah. Cool. this is done and last but not the least we have our a5 binder which looks really thick like if you can tell yeah it does have a lot of money and envelopes inside so starting off with our debt debt is um we only have one and that's aircon installment because one of our aircon broke out and i had to buy one this is having 0% interest, so I don't mind paying this every month. And this is um, one year installment, one year installment. So I started paying this September of this year and my monthly payment is at 3,300. So I'm already, I already save a lot of money guys. I paid September, but then here it is like, yeah, I'm so ahead. But anyway, this month, this paycheck, last paycheck, will be stuffing 1650 So my goal is to be able to save the total amount for this, which is 40000 That's the installment, the total amount. So by December, I should be done with this. But I will still keep paying it every month up until 
September of next year because like I said, it is a one year installment and I started paying it off September. So yeah, anyway, there's that. And we'll just combine the money. And after I pay this off by December, I will start um, buying my own computer setup. So I plan to have like a curved monitor, um, a steel secret lab um, chair, gaming chair. And there's a lot of things I plan to do. But anyway, we have 1,000, 2,000 at the bank, 3,000, 4,000, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14,000. Uh, and then we have... 15,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So that's 16,000 already. 16,100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So 16,500 is the money that we have for the aircon installment. Oh gosh, it's just going to be like a few months to go and I'm already done with this. I can't wait to be debt free again. But anyway, I just mentioned that I'm going to like have installment for the computer set on, setup, so I won't I won't be debt free, ever. <laughs> okay, I don't know if anyone can relate. But anyway, for the tax, government duties, um, I pay eight percent on how much I make for tax. So for this current paycheck, I'll be um, paying it in three thousand five hundred. So that's three five. Now we have a total of up and let me just combine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve thousand five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five hundred, six hundred, yeah, eight hundred. So twelve thousand eight hundred guys. For our tax. So I guess I have an income of like 41, 42, 43, or 44,000 per week. So that's just how taxes. Bug eBig, I'll be adding 100. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So for Bug eBig, SSS, and Phil Health, you know, you do have an option how much you're going to pay. Because I'm a freelancer, I'm not an employee, just like the employees out there that pays 30%. But then again, guys, as a freelancer, we don't have any benefits like HMO, paid leaves and whatever. So that's why we pay our own contribution and taxes and everything. So PhilHealth, I've decided to pay it um, like every week, 250. Is it 250? I'm just looking at my cheat sheet. So let's just... Add them together, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700 for a fail health. Okay, next, oh my gosh. I, I'm a perfectionist, anyway. SSS will be adding 350. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one thousand one hundred and two hundred. So one thousand two hundred for our SSS. I know some would say, oh, that's really like low or that's really high. Well, like I said, it this is optional. We can decide what whatever amount we need to pay. So travel. Oh, I'm not gonna do travel. Self care, nope. Birthday. My mom's birthday is on November next month. So I'm planning to um, have ourselves checked into a nice resort resort that's on by the beach. So I'll be adding 2000 for her birthday. Oh, we are like, we don't have any more 1000. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7,500, 650. That's not bad. Because I'm planning to do like Airbnb for two days. And then the rest would be like for um, food, transport, and all of that stuff. Anyway, subscription. I will add 1,500. And we'll do 1,000 for... No, 500 for personal. So we have one 
uh, sorry, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 100, and 200. So that's 1200 for personal. So I pay my um, like cap cut for or splice for editing this video or um, Netflix or whatever, like personal subscriptions. Now this is for work and I will add 1000. So it has 1500. This is like for VPN, you know, I need antiviruses like Microsoft 360, whatever I need. So it depends. Anyway, this is done for the whole month of November. Sinking funds. Do I have to add? Yeah, I can add more. So Christmas, we can add one, two, three, four, five. That's 500. And now we will count. We have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So that's 1,500. It's like fast approaching for Christmas and I only got to save 1,500. That's fine. New year. I'll be adding 500 to one, two, three, four, five. We got a lot of 50s today. So let's just add them all together. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. 1000 for new year. Okay, and I think we're done with this. So let's just move along to what's next. Uh, savings. Oh, I skipped sk savings today because I already have added like 30,000 for the whole month. And I wanted to focus on other stuff too. I want to build up other stuff. So that's why toys though, I will add 800 because I wanted to buy toys for my daughter. So I think this is 800. Let's count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Oh, we still have 200. Oh, sorry. 200 left. So we'll just make it 1,000, guys. Why not? Because I don't have any categories to do after this. So this is the last one. Toys, we now have 1,000, 2,000. What did I count? 1,000. So again, I have 100. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 100, 200, 300, and 400. So that is 1,400 for toys. And that should be fine. I mean, you know, I know toys are expensive, but I don't have any plans on buying this month or next month. But then again, we're just adding them up like a sinking fund from time to time up until it reaches whatever amount that I can afford whatever toys I can see that's good for my daughter. So that's it for this cash stuffing video. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time. Bye!